Are you sick and tired of an inconsistent golf swing? Well, I have one mindset change, mindset upgrade, that could change the way you swing the golf club forever. Let's discuss. Welcome to episode one of the Wade Fullingham Golf Show, where I teach you unmatched strategies to develop a consistent golf game, enjoy the game more, and build epic practice plans that lead you to lower scores. Today, I wanna to talk about one of my favorite things I like to teach my clients to develop consistency, because it's simple and it makes a massive impact. So, I like simple. The, the key is swinging through the ball, not at it. Because the golf swing should make a passive motion through the ball, not at the ball. Here's my best analogy. So, when I go target shooting with my pistol, I tend to miss low left. That's my tendency, I miss low left. And the reason why I miss low left is because I'm reacting to the bullet in the gun. So as I'm about to pull the trigger, I tend to lean into the shot a little bit so that my nose tends to dip, and then I over pull the trigger, and then my nose misses left. That's my tendency. But I'm reacting to the bullet. And if I, if I would just pull the trigger slowly and let the gun go off, great. But mentally, I keep reacting to the bullet. And we do the same thing in golf. So when we get up to this golf ball, we tend to react to the golf ball instead of actually slinging through it. We, we, go, we go at the ball, we do some crazy weird things, but we've got to get to where we can rotate through the ball and past the ball because that's, how, that's actually going to allow the club face to move consistently through in the impact zone instead of rotating, doing all sorts of weird things. You know, when we start chasing the ball, we start doing weird things with it. So I think it's important that you move past the ball into a full finish. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to first close your eyes and make some swings. And I don't want you to picture, there, picture a golf ball there, but I want you to picture turning and finishing full through the ball. This is the goal is to get to this position right here. It's not to strike the ball, the ball is gonna get in the way, but I want you to rotate all the way through to this position right here. Because that's gonna, because the longer you rotate through impact, the more stable the club face is going to be. So I think it's important that you work really hard on getting through all the way to here so that face can come through stable. Because now the rotation is going past the ball and now it's not stopping and doing something weird at impact. So now you're not gonna have these wild face control. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a couple shots here and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna do two swings where I'm swinging at it, two swings where I'm swinging through it. Because this is what I see a lot. I see a lot of players get up here and let's say you're slicing the ball, they're struggling slicing the ball, and they're gonna try really hard to square the face up, and they're gonna come through and they're gonna go. You'll see something weird with the arms, it looks like they're attacking it kind of funny, that kind of thing. So I think it's important that you make sure you swing through it and not at it. So I'm gonna come through here, and I'll see this. I'll see weird things like that. But what we wanna do is we wanna swing through the ball. So what I want you to do is come behind the ball, I want you to close your eyes and picture how you want to finish. Maybe even make a couple of practice swings. And then I want you to walk up to this ball and you've got to convince yourself to swing to the finish. Okay, so I'm gonna come through here. I got to a full nice balance finish, didn't lose my balance. I got a question for you. Do you ever lose your balance when you are making a practice swing? Probably not very often. I'm sure it happens, but not very often, right? Why is that? Because there's no ball there. You're not reacting to anything. You're just swinging through in a nice balanced way. But that's how you need to swing. You need to swing through it and not at it. Excuse the crickets. If you can hear the crickets on the audio, I mean, the crickets are awful. They're stinking loud in here. I'm about to go find it and kill it. But anyways, that's what happens. We swing at the ball instead of through it. So I want you to do, just go on the range as an exercise and rotate through the ball. This is especially good for my players that tend to overhook the ball sometimes because the longer you rotate through impact, the longer that face stays, excuse me, stays square. It doesn't close. Now, if you're a slicer of the golf ball, I will admit this might make your slice worse, but it's actually gonna make your face more consistent. So if you're slicing it, what I highly recommend is you take some form of instruction. If you're local to me here in Lubbock, Texas, then come see me, schedule 30, 60, or 90 minute lesson, I now offer a 30 to 90 minute lesson, or I want you to do an online lesson and let's correct the, let's correct the club face. 
Which that leads me into one of the things I wanna offer you. I actually have a free gift for you. I want you to click the link down below and I have a course that's going to, I call it a course, there's three videos on there. But, but a, a workshop, if you will, that's gonna walk you through the three different things your face has to do, or your face needs to be in. So where does the face need to be on the back swing, top and down swing? How to correct that, especially if you're slicing the golf ball. How to correct contact errors and how to properly release the club. Like should you release it here? Golly, that cricket finally got quiet. Or should you release it here? Anyways, it's completely free. I want you to go check that out. There's a link below the description. Go check it out. It's going to help your golf game. So go watch that, and then in the meantime, schedule an online or in-person lesson, depending on where you are. But I, I promise you guys, if you will implement rotating through and past the ball, that's the number one thing that will help stabilize your club face. Give it a shot. I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.